is like an ocean wave. Who can say where it begins? Who can tell where it will end? Like a wave, an historical event begins, mounts, builds, breaks, and even in breaking, already is followed by another in some pattern which leads to an almost inevitable result. Men appear, act their parts, and are replaced by other men. At times, more waves break, more act to speed the flow of what leaf history. Such a year was 1492. I, Lorenzo de' Medici, did help to beautify the city of Florence. I, Leonardo da Vinci, observed the flight of birds and thought that man could fly. I, Ferdinand, the Catholic king. And I, Isabella the queen, did unite the kingdom of Spain. I, Christopher Columbus, of Genoa, embarked upon a voyage of discovery. I sailed, I tilled, I wove, we lived. Come back with us in your imagination almost five centuries. You will see the places where these events began. Where records serve, you will hear the words truly spoken. For from these events came other events, and you and I are the products of them all. It is all part of the saga of Western man. It is the year 1492. The gentleman from New York. Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass the resolution, H. Con Res 353, expressing the sense of the Congress that the United States should take a leading role in implementing the decisions <laughs> made at the Earth Summit as amended. The clerk will report the title of the resolution. House Concurrent Resolution 353, Concurrent Resolution, expressing the sense of the Congress that the United States should assume a strong leadership role in implementing the decisions made at the Earth Summit by developing a national strategy to implement Agenda 21 and other Earth Summit agreements through domestic policy and foreign policy, by cooperating with all countries to identify and initiate further agreements to protect the global environment, and by supporting and participating in a high-level United Nations Sustainable Development Commission. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective a new world order can emerge, a new era, freer from the threat of terror, stronger in the pursuit of justice, and more secure in the quest for peace. And today that new world is struggling to be born, a world quite different from the one we've known, To my friends in Congress, together we must act this very month, before the next fiscal year begins on October 1st, to get America's economic house in order.